Okay, everyone, and welcome to the next lesson. Uh, and today, you guessed it, we are still talking about 6, 8. And, uh, and that's okay, because uh, there's a lot to talk about with 6, 8. And, uh, you know, it's been scientifically proven that if you increase your daily dosage of 6, 8 time signature, then you are healthier, you are smarter, and you instantly have more friends. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have four measures of 6-8, and you might be asking yourself, well, what's new about this? We've seen this before. What's the deal? Well, you just hold on. I'm going to get to that. Uh, let's say we wanted to uh, take it around this speed. This is what this would sound like. Ready, set, go. One, three, four, six. One, three, four. One, three, four, five, six, one. Okay, well now what if I wanted to play this even faster? Uh, quite a bit faster, actually. What would that sound like? One, two, three, ready, set, go. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, that was nice. Uh, but what if I want to even go faster than that? And actually, this metronome that I have, it, it doesn't even go as fast as I would want to. I'm, I'm going to have to snap the beat. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, so that was neither accurate or enjoyable to do. Uh, and probably listen to for you guys. Um, and what if we actually wanted to even go faster than that? Well, I can't snap faster than that, and the metronome that can't even go faster than that. And yet, 6-8 can still go faster, and, and, and it, it does all the time. So how do we count 6-8 when it's that fast, and how do we perform it when it's that fast? So that's what I want to talk about today, um, this concept called fast 6-8. And it actually involves counting a little bit different and also feeling the rhythm a little bit differently. Okay, so now that I've said that there's such a thing as a fast 6-8, that means that there's two types of 6-8, slow and fast. In slow, you would count the eighth notes like this, like we've seen before, because you have an 8 right here on the bottom, and that means that eighth notes are assigned to the beat, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But if I tried to count this super fast like I was trying to earlier, I would have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's just way too fast, both for me to, to just say it and also for me to think of each note that fast. It's just it's too much and too stiff sounding. So in order to have it flow better in both how you count it and how you feel it, um, I want to remind you when we said that with these beams here, we're grouping each beat into groups of three right? Here's three beats all grouped together. Here's another three beats all grouped together. Well, now we're going to apply that idea also to the counting. And so for fast 6-8, you would see the counting like this. So you got this one and a two and a. But the reason why you do this is because it's a lot easier to say that really fast. One and a two and a, 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 as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not only that, but when you start taking 6-8 this fast, our ears will want to put an emphasis on this eighth note and this eighth note. And when you count it like this, you kind of already do that, but just with how, what you're saying. One and a, two and a, one and a, two and a. Well, here's what's kind of confusing. We're using a one and a two. Well, what happened to three, four, five, and six? Because we're in 6-8 after all. There's six beats in a measure. Where, where are those beats? Well, it's almost as if we're kind of assigning dotted quarter notes here and here as kind of like the honorary beat. Uh, that for, for fast 6 eight, that's the kind of note that we think of as the beat uh, because it's just easier to count and there's less numbers and it's easier to think of it this way when you're taking 6-8 this fast. So when you're playing 6-8 this fast, um, you're going to set your metronome uh, not to the eighth note, because that's going to be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, that, that's too fast, right? So you're actually going to set your metronome 
to have it click uh, the dotted quarter note. So it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six anymore. It's just going to be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This time, the dotted quarter notes we're thinking as the beat. So it's just going to be a beat one and a beat two. And then that's it for the numbers. Also, just be aware that this is just one way of counting these eighth notes in fast 6-8. Um, there are other counting systems out there, but using one and a two and a um, is the one that I, I prefer the most. So that's why I'm showing it to you. Okay, so this figure in slow 6-8 would sound like this. One, three, four, six. But in fast 6-8, we're not going to go one, three, four, six, one, three, four, six. Because one, that's tough to say. And I don't know about you, but if I were counting that fast, I would kind of forget where beat three and beat four and five and two and all those middle beats would were. So instead of counting like this, in fast six eight, the counting would switch to this. And it would be a lot easier to think of and to, and to count. Two, here I go. One, a two, a one, a two, a one, a two, a. Okay. Here's another example. In slow six eight, this would be one, two, four, five. And but like you've probably guessed, this is not the way that we count this in fast six eight. We would count it like this, and it would sound like this. Two, here I go. One n, two n, one n, two n, one n, two n. And then just as a reminder, notice that my metronome, that is clicking dotted quarter notes. Okay, so kind of figure out how these eighth notes and quarter notes fit within those dotted quarter notes. And that may also help you figure out how to count these in fast 6-8. Okay, so this is the example that I showed you earlier in this lesson. And now we're going to take it up to the fast 6-8 tempo, the faster one. And so, again, we're not going to count it the way I'm showing you right now, right? We're not going to go like this. 1, 3, 4, 6, 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Too many numbers to count, too many numbers to keep track of. We're going to count it like this. Okay, so let's give that a shot. 2, here I go. 1, a 2, a 1, a 2, 1, a 2, and a 1. Maybe you'd like to know where I got this rhythm from. It's actually from an old kind of cliche Italian song from an opera that goes like this. It's the same rhythm. And if we didn't take that in fast 6-8, it wouldn't be the same song. And um, this is the way that you would count that song. One, a two, a one, a two, one, a two, and a one. Also, notice how this song puts an emphasis on where the ones and the twos are. One, a two, a one, a two, one, a two, and a one. Okay? The, the emphasis is there, and we're just showing that through this counting, because that's how we want to feel it. Okay? It just has a better flow when you, when you count it this way. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson, and uh, like, like I've said before, if this is confusing to you at all, if, if I lost you, please find me sometime and I'll, I'll make it more clear and I'll help you understand it. And I hope you do understand it because the worksheet that goes with this lesson, what I'm having you do is I'm performing, I'm having you perform a few examples um, of 6-8, both in slow and fast, okay? The same example, you have to perform it two ways. Not only that, but you're going to show me the counting that you would use for both ways as well. So it's really important that you understand these. Um, so like I said, if you need help, just find me. If not, then good luck on the worksheet, and we'll see you next lesson.